Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. We got the Lapros baseball jersey on, so that means it's going to be a baseball video. And today I have a tier list for you guys. We're going to be ranking the MLB City Connect jerseys. Now, what are the City Connect jerseys? They're basically just like alternates that um, Nike made. In the end, these alternate jerseys usually are just to sell more jerseys and make more money. But some of them are really cool, so today we're going to take a look at them. And as of right now, at the filming of this video, um, every team's jersey hasn't been revealed yet. Um, from what I could see, the information was a little scarce, but there's only a couple teams that have had their jerseys revealed. So if more are revealed later on, I will redo this video and rank all of them. But for now, let's rank which jerseys we have. And for the tiers of the list at the top, I think we're going to have the best, and then I'd wear that below that, so it's not the best, but I'd still wear it. And then mid in the middle, I wouldn't wear that, and then just atrocious garbage trash at the bottom. All right, so I have a picture of all the MLB City Connect jerseys for the 2023 season. Um, I have this pulled up on Reddit, um, but I think these are the official jerseys, but all of them aren't revealed, so let's rank which ones we have. Starting off with the Arizona Diamondbacks. And on their jersey, it says Serpientes, uh, which is like snake in Spanish. Not really sure what's going on there. I guess Arizona's near Mexico, kind of. Maybe that's their inspiration. And this is a like dark tan um, color scheme. Not a huge fan of any of the Diamondbacks jerseys, but um, this one is actually pretty solid. It's a little weird looking, like the color, but the fact that it's like different from any jerseys really um, kind of makes it stand out. Um, and I honestly don't mind this one. I think I would wear that, um, but yeah, I think I'd wear it. And we have the Boston Red Sox with a yellow and teal blue hat. Just a garbage <laughs> decision here with this, this color. Um, I know like these city jerseys are supposed to be completely different from the home and away jerseys that each team has. So this looks nothing like the red and white they're used to with the Red Sox. But sometimes when it's too different, it's unrecognizable and they just kind of went a little too far. Like teal and yellow is just a weird combination. And then the font of Boston across looks really stupid. Um, not a huge fan of this one. And then I think, is that an ad? Um, a patch on the side? They did start doing that with the New Jerseys this year. They're adding patches, which we'll take a look at if I rank um, the normal jerseys later on. But for now, I think I'll put the Boston one in trash. I wouldn't even wear it, like, it's not I would not wear that, it's just trash, I wouldn't even consider it. Next we have the Chicago Cubs, and this one's interesting. Um, it says Wrigleyville across, um, which is kind of cool, that's the name of their stadium. Um, I like how they kind of like um, give like nicknames to the teams here. Um, and I like the dark blue with the light um, blue like highlights um, on the hat and the brim. And then the C on the hat looks pretty solid too. Um, I think we'll put this one in, I'd wear that. It's, um, it's definitely like a normal jersey, so you wouldn't look like a freaking neon sign with the Boston Red Sox one. Um, but I think it, it looks clean. Then we have the Chicago White Sox. You got South Side across, um, all black jersey with white pinstripes, so it's like reverse pinstripes, which I think is an interesting look. Um, and then the South Side is referring to Chicago um, across the um, front. I like the font, and I think the uh, pinstripes work. Um, and yeah, it's pretty solid. I don't know if I'd wear it. Um, it's, I don't really like all black jerseys. Um, kind of looks a little interesting. It's hard to match it with like pants. Um, but I think I'll put it in mid. It's not awful, but it's not amazing. And then we have the LA Dodgers. And this is the first one that's like really not that much different than their normal jerseys. Um, it's a darker like blue, but it's really not that much different. And I think it says Los Dodgers across. Um, like Los Angeles, Los Dodgers, kind of weird there. And then you have the LA on the side. I think this one's mid. Um, it's not awful, but I don't really have like any strong opinion on this one, and it's not that unique. Uh, Miami Marlins are up next. This one is definitely unique. It's like this bright like neon red, like you'd see this in a nightclub, which I guess is fitting with the Miami Marlins. And then you have like a teal part on their hat, and I don't even know what that logo is on the... <laughs> What is that on the hat? I can't even tell. The picture is kind of small, but uh, no idea what that is. But I do like the font of Miami across and pinstripes. I am a fan of pinstripes. Um, I don't know if I'd wear this one because it's like, like I said, it's like a neon sign. Um, but you know what? I think I think it's unique enough where like it would be kind of cool like if you wore it and it definitely make you stand out. But I'll put it in. I'd wear that. And then we have the San Francisco Giants. Um, this one is just whack. Not a huge fan. You have a G for Giants and. Yeah, not a good, not a good logo on the um, 
the jersey and it's just basically all white like it's not unique and how is that a city connect jersey like the sf i think is a better logo for the giants but they definitely could have done something cooler like maybe with a giant like like just get a mascot or something for the logo this one's really bad i think we'll put it in trash washington nationals certainly have some interesting city connect jerseys here um it's like a gradient black it, it just looks like kind of like a rock texture which is interesting and they have wsh for washington um and then just a w on the hat they don't really get too many w's lately um their team is kind of falling apart but these city connect ones it's not really a huge fan i, I don't think i'd wear that one houston astros space city across the jersey and it's a dark blue navy blue jersey um, not really like look it, it doesn't really fit the Astros team they do have like a dark blue jersey um, but obviously it's got more orange and I think they're missing out on the orange in this hat um, it's got more like red um, highlights but I do like the dark blue and um, it, I think it works I think it'd be a little more interesting if they incorporated a, a rocket into the um, jersey or the hat uh, or maybe like um, like something in the outer space, like an asteroid or something. They could have been more unique for these City Connect jerseys. I think of something more creative, but it's not bad. Um, I, I, I'm not going to say I'd wear that because I'm a Yankees fan and we need to hate the Astros. And a lot of people hate the Astros, but it's not awful, so we'll put it in mid. Kansas City Royals have another navy uh, blue jersey. There's a lot of navy blue. For City Connect, they're supposed to be crazy wild and... Navy blue is a little boring to me, not gonna lie. Um, but this one's this one's solid. I like the um, the contrast with the light blue. Honestly, this one looks like really similar to the Chicago Cubs one. So, it, I mean, I like the Cubs one, so I guess I like this one as well. They have a weird KC logo. Um, not sure what's going on there, but this one's not bad, and I, I think I'd wear it. Um, yeah, it's not horrible. All right, and this might be the best one so far just because of how interesting it is. And I, for some reason, really like green jerseys because I feel like you don't see them a lot. But here are the Colorado Rockies. Their normal scheme is like gray and purple. And they just come in with green out of nowhere for these City Connect jerseys. Really different and unique. And I like the Rocky Mountains across and how it kind of um, separates the white and the green. And then Colorado, the font, the font's all right. Um, and then the hat. Definitely interesting. Um, I do like the white in the front and then the green on the bill and the sides. I think this one's the best so far. I'll put it at the top. And now we have the Los Angeles Angels. Um, this one is like a cream color jersey, so it looks more retro, which I really like. Um, and you have angels in like this uh, cursive font across, or not really cursive, but like a more classic looking uh, uh, lettering. And this one really looks like a retro jersey to me. Honestly, this might be like a replica of the retro one. I'd have to look it up. But I think I really like this one. And I do like the angel um, logo on the hat and the classic halo. That's something I feel like they've been missing. I think the halo looks really good. We'll put this one in the best with the Colorado Rockies. And now we're coming down to our last two jerseys. We have the Milwaukee Brewers, and I am a huge fan of their rebranding in the past few years. Their new logo and their new colors look great, like on their normal jerseys. Really love the Casher Glove um, logo on the side. And then I like the colors, like the light blue and the um, yellow trimming looks really great. These colors are basically the reverse of the Red Sox, but for some reason I like it way more. I think the light blue as the dominant color looks better than the yellow. And I think they make a great contrast. The only thing I don't like is the MKE across the hat. Kind of an ugly logo, but the Brew Crew across the jersey makes up for it. I think we'll put this one in the best as well. I really like this one. And finally, we have the San Diego Padres. This is probably the most unique one out of the whole list. You have this like teal green um, color mixed with pink and yellow. A lot going on here. Um, and then a white middle piece. Um, I really like the pink. You don't really see it on any jersey. And uh, I like the pink for the number, and then the pink and green uh, teal gradient for San Diego across. And then you got the classic San Diego um, logo on the hat. Um, for its uniqueness and just being really different, um, I think I'll put this in the best as well. This is definitely like what a City Connect jersey is supposed to look like. So that's a wrap on the City Connect tier list. Uh, as I mentioned, not all of them are out yet. So as they get revealed um, closer to the season, if that's gonna happen, I will rank those all in a new video. And make sure to subscribe and um, stick around for more videos because I will be ranking more MLB jerseys, logos, stadiums, mascots all coming up soon. So you're not going to want to miss that. And make sure to drop a like and comment down which jersey you like the most. We'll see you next time. Peace.